Hello and welcome to the BS Academy. We hope that your preparation is going well. So let's start the next video. Before that, if you are new to your academy, then please subscribe for the upcoming videos and the links for the short notes which are in the description box. Let's begin with the first one which is quality control and this quality control some concepts of this chapter we have discussed earlier in the third chart of I am and OR. So the link for that chart is given in the description box. Now let's continue from the third chart. Here the first topic is there are some seven quality control tools are there. First one is histogram, then after the Pareto analysis, then after the cause and effect diagram, or you can say that the Ishikawa or fishbone diagram, then fourth one is defect concentration diagram. Then fifth one is check sheet diagram. Then sixth one is scatter diagram and seventh one is control chart. So from these seven tools the questions may be asked like which is not the tool for the quality control. So you have to remember these seven tools. Then after let's see one by one some diagrams here. First one is fishbone diagram. Or you can say that the Ishikawa diagram or herringbone diagram or cause and effect diagram. It is used for identifying the possible causes for a problem. Then this diagram is created first ever by the Kaura Ishikawa. Then after the next diagram is scatter diagram. It is similar to the line diagrams in which uses the dots to represent the individual pieces of data and then This scatter diagram is first ever invented by the Rene Descartes. Then histogram is for accurate representation of the distribution of numerical data. And the first step is known as the bin or bucket. Then it is in the form of the bars so it is also known as the bar chart. And the inventor of the diagram is Carl Pearson. Then control chart is there. In there, two types are there. First one is variable continuous distribution, and the second one is attributes. So in the variable continuous distribution, there are two types. First one is X bar chart, and the second one is R bar chart. Here you can say X bar chart is also as mean and R bar chart for range. Then X bar and R bar both chart the normal distribution. Next one is attributes. In that, two types are there. First one is P chart, and the another is C chart. Here, P for the proportion defective, or you can say that the fraction defective, and P chart follows the binomial distribution. Then, C chart for count of defect or defect position distribution, and C chart follows the mu or exponential distribution then after the next one is 5s technique which is japanese technique and it results into the well organized workplace with complete and visual controls and order and key step in this technique is workplace improvement then five steps are there first one is short or you can say that the siri then second one is set in order or you can say that the C tone then third one is shine for C show then fourth one is standardize for Siketsu and the fifth one is sustain for Shitsuke so you have to remember these five terms from the 5S technique and talking about the reliability it is the ability of the product to perform its main function for a specified period of time and reliability in the series for that the equation of r is r system is equal to r1 into r2 into r3 into r4 into rn then in the parallel the equation will be like r system is equal to 1 minus in bracket 1 minus r into 1 minus r2 up to the 1 minus rn so from this equation you can note down the example here 
and response time r of t is equal to e raised to minus lambda t and f of t is equal to 1 minus r of t here f of t for the failure time then bathtub cow is also there the diagram for the bathtub cow you have to remember that in the first stage the warranty phase is there in the second stage the catastrophic failure is occur and in the third stage wear out failure is occur now the next topic is ppc which means the production planning and control here first one is routing for the loading here it is the assignment of the work either to the individual or to the workstation without specifying the time of start of real product is called as the loading and then after the balancing is there it is the process of ensuring that the workload on different workstation remains same then scheduling it take care of the time associated with the product at the different workstation and port and cpm are common scheduling technique then in the dispatch it is the execution function of ppc this function actual production activity to start concerned with a smooth introduction work on the soft floor basically it is the execution of the ideas mrp1 and mrp2 method are there first one is mrp1 which is the method for the material requirement planning and it is push system and dependent on the demand the purpose of the mrp is to ensure that the materials are available at right quantity at right time so that finished product can be completed according to the master production schedule and in the mrp2 the manufacturing resource planning is there then method for effective planning of all the resources of the manufacturing company and it's not excessively a software function but the management of people skills requiring a dedication and to database accuracy and sufficient computer resources vd analysis is there v stands for vital item e stands for essential item and d stands for desirable item now the next topic is work study the analysis of a job product for the purpose of finding the preferred method for doing it and also determining the standard time to perform then this job comes under the domain of work study and work study is used for calculating the standard time and advantages will be like it helps in a smooth production with minimum interruption and it helps to reduce the cost of the product by eliminating the waste and unnecessary operations then there are some modes are there first one is o for operation d for delay aero for transportation and triangle for storage or low triangle you can say that then square for the inspection the symbols were mostly asked in the gate examination then Gilbert has given total 18 symbols and it calls the Thurbling symbols and it is used for the recording then eight steps in the work study is there first one is select then record then examine then develop then measure then define then install and maintain then types of chart are there first one is operation chart then flow process chart then multiple activity chart the last one is the simo chart in the operation chart the idea about the operation and the measure activity then in the flow process chart the movement of the main material and equipment are recorded to examine then the third one is multiple activity chart which is used for record activity of main and machine and in the simo chart the full form of simo will be like simultaneous motion chart and this is the chart of the micro motion study and it is used for short duration then movements are recorded against the time scale by using micrometer or wink meter and one wink is equal to 1 by 2000 minute then two types of diagrams are there first one is flow diagram and second one is 
string diagram. In the flow diagram, it shows the path of main material and equipment on a scale model of factory. And in the string diagram, strings are placed on a scale model of working area by which the frequent movement between the different points can be studied. Then density of strings is equal to idea about the frequency of movement. And examples are like ergonomic. Now the next one is work sampling. In this process, the person is continuously observing and he might become too sensitive or alert. Then data obtained by work sampling PL is equal to Z into sigma P, then sigma P is equal to under root P into 1 minus P upon N, and P into L is equal to Z into under root P into 1 minus P upon N. Here P for observation function, L for level of accuracy, Z for factor related to the confidence level, or you can say that the CL. Then Z is equal to 1, for CL is equal to 68% or plus or minus 1 sigma then z equal to 2 for cl is equal to 95 percent or plus or minus 2 sigma then z equal to 3 for cl is or plus or minus 3 sigma okay then after the next topic is pmts here pmts stands for predetermined motion time standard and in the pmts each activity is divided in such a way that the size of each element is more than 0.04 minute. Stopwatch is not used because one time the questions were asked in the examination that if stopwatch is used in the PMTS or not. It's further divided into three categories. First one is the method time measurement, then after the basic motion time study, and the third one is work factor system. Here, the time study is not a part of the PMTS. Two examples are there for the above equations in which we have to use the P into L is equal to Z into sigma P. Then you can find the value of N. Similarly, in the second example, you have to find the value of L. Here, L for accuracy. Work measurement is there. It is the application of techniques designed to establish a standard time for skilled or qualified worker. And first one is MOS, which is for mean observation time. Then the second one is standard time is equal to NT plus percentage allowance of standard time. And MOT is equal to efficiency into MOT. Here one example which was asked in the 2005 you have to use the equation of nt is equal to rf into average here rf is equal to rating factor now this is the most important topic from the im and or subject for the gate examination point of view which is inventory control first ever the definition is there Inventory is termed as stock on the hand at a given point of time which may be held for the purpose of a later use or sell. Then total cost is equal to the purchase cost plus total inventory cost. Here in the inventory cost there are three costs are there. First one is total holding cost then total ordering cost and the third one is back order cost or shortage cost. Then after the classification of inventory, four types are there. First one is transit or pipeline inventory, which cannot service while in transportation. Then the second one is safety or buffer stock, which reserves the stock came through out the year and in critical demand. Then third one is seasonal inventory. The demand for this inventory item changes with the seasonal variation. Then fourth one is anticipation inventory. It built up due to the some anticipation in demand in the future because of government policies changes. Here note that dependent demand calculated by MRP method and independent demand calculated by the forecasting methods. Then after review system is there two types of review system first one is Q system and second one is P system. 
now for the queue system fixed order system is this then reorder or level system and two bin system then safety stock is not required and a class items is there in the queue system and safety stock is zero for the queue system then for the p system fixed period system then periodic review system then safety stock is not is needed then suitable for b and c class system then inventory review systems are there in that first one is fixed order system and the second one is fixed period system here for the fixed order system size of the order is fixed but the time of the order is variable and in the fixed period system the time of the order is fixed and the size of the order is variable then abc analysis this is also very important here by pareto principle or 80 20 rule is also used in the abc analysis the diagram you can see that in the inventory control technique abc analysis is mostly used here product a which is more careful than accurate forecasting and frequent order of inventory then for product b the more trade control and product c less control less accurate and bulk purchasing for the third type of system here the percentage of the a type is 10% for b type 20% and for c type 70% is there here the diagram is for the cost versus the percentage of inventory from the diagram you can understand that for a type of products the percentage of inventory is 10 percent and the cost is around the 70 percent for b type the inventory is 20 percent and cost is 70 to 90 percent and for the c type the inventory is 70 percent then after the inventory model and calculation first one is wilson harris model for inventory without the shortage here tc for total cost tic for total inventory cost toc for total ordering cost or total procurement cost or total setup cost then thc for total holding cost or shortage cost then r for annual demand q for quality to be ordered then R by Q is equal to number of order in one year and Q by R is equal to time between two order in one year or you can say that the cycle time in one year. Then CU is equal to unit cost or purchase cost. Then CO is equal to ordering cost per order. Then CH is equal to holding cost per unit per year and LT for lead time, ROL for reorder level and Q average for average quantity then 60 for cycle time here you can see that lead time is equal to the interval before which the order should be placed so that the material will be received on time and inventory corresponding to lead time is equal to reorder level by a similar triangle from the diagram you can see that q by ct is equal to rol by lt this is the third equation which is useful then tpc is equal to cu into r then total procurement cost toc is equal to c naught into r by q then total holding cost which is equal to ch into q average that means thc is equal to ch into q by 2 then tc is equal to cu into r plus cu into r by q plus ch into q by 2 then tic is equal to c naught into r by q plus ch into q by 2 then to minimize the total inventory cost q is equal to under root 2 into r into c naught by ch then tic at q at eoq which is equal to under root 2 into r into c naught into ch here at eoq remember that thc is equal to toc here note that at eoq tic is minimum but tc may or may not be minimum and optimum order quantity it is the quantity at which the total cost is minimum these are some equations based on which every year 
example may be asked to indicate dissemination from the inventory control. So there are some examples are there. First one is for finding the EOQ, then after for TIC at Q is equal to EOQ, you have to find the value of Q. In the third example, the percentage increase you have to find. Then for the fourth example, you have to find the value of ROL and use the equation of Q by Z is equal to ROL by LT. Then for the fifth type, you have to find the value of demand which is annual demand in which you have to use the equation of EOQ is equal to under root 2 into R into C0 upon CH. So this is all about the fourth chart of the I am into R subject in which we have covered all the syllabus of the I am into R subject. If you like this video please do like and subscribe to the BS Academy and press the bell icon for the upcoming video if it is useful for your other friends then please share this video who is preparing for the gate examination 2021.